Good evening, everybody, and welcome to yet another edition of the Silver Surge Sports Enthusiast and Pop Culture Channel. I am your host, Silver Surge, coming back at you with a unique pop culture themed video for this evening. Um, I want to talk a little bit about a blast from the past that I found the other day while I was cleaning. Um, <clears throat> uh, it's no secret that I'm going to be uh, moving away from my current home in a couple months, and uh, we found some. Uh, I would consider a treasure trove of, of fun, unique items that uh, uh, brought back some some unique, fond memories of my past. And um, without further ado, let me get into that. Um, <clears throat> for those of you watching, uh, if you are from my generation, I'm 26 years old. Uh, if you're around my age, you'll know what I'm talking about, or older. Uh, one of my favorite things to do when I was a little kid was um, on Friday nights or Saturday nights was to go with my family. Excuse me, I'm adjusting the camera for a minute. It was to go with my family to the video store and uh, pick out a movie that we were all going to watch together or go get a, a video game at the same time and rent it out and try it. And If I liked it, maybe I could uh, convince my parents to buy it for me or, you know, get it for me for Christmas or whatever, you know. Um, one, yeah, one of my favorite hobbies was just going out to the video store, like, you know, Blockbuster and uh, Hollywood Video. Those, those small uh, chains, you know, I, I just really enjoyed the concept of going out and picking a movie or a video game. And uh, sadly, uh, in today's day and age, technology has rapidly advanced and Blockbuster and Hollywood Video are now obsolete and they are gone. And uh, it's very saddening. Um, Netflix and Hulu and all the streaming services have since replaced them. There's really no need for people to go out anymore. Um, but I still liked the concept of going out to uh, getting a video, and I really, really, really miss that. And uh, the the town actually that I'm moving to, <clears throat> they have something similar to a blockbuster, and it's called um, Family Video, and it's the same concept. And they've kept it around for years because Tiffin's like a town of like I want to say twenty thousand people or so, and uh, I'm. I'm really not sure if it's going to be around though because I know it recently got bought out by another business and I don't know if they're going to keep the video store or demolish it so I'm kind of nervous about that because honestly I really I really want it to stay because it just kind of brings back the unique memories of when I was a child. Um, but yeah, going back, the, the items that I have, obviously you probably can guess, are uh, movie rental related. Um, I have a crop of things to talk about. So the first thing I'm going to show you guys is a... Hollywood movie membership card, and it's kind of faded out. Um, it was my mom's, and uh, she was going through her old keychain, uh, throwing some shit out, and she found it, and she's like, you want this? And I was like, heck yeah. So it's really cool. It's, you know, it's kind of like a little relic, you know, a piece of history and memorabilia. It's got the, the barcode on it, so this is definitely used for uh, checking out movies at Hollywood Video. So I really like that a lot. And uh, But uh, on top of that, um, I found some more... Uh, even more exciting stuff. I found a uh, special Hollywood membership card edition from Spider-Man 2, uh, but that is a you know a membership card. It was just a Spider-Man themed card, but it's got the Hollywood insignia video in the corner, and it's just like oh man, it just brings back so many cool memories. And like I said, all all, all you know, and it's actually now that I'm on the topic, it's kind of funny because my place of work just got a uh, um, a gumball machine in. And it, it's one of the older models that used to be in the video store, and they took out the gumballs, and actually they put little rubber balls in that you can buy. You know, you have to put a quarter in the machine, twist it, and it rolls down the thing. And uh, it, ironically, it has an old Blockbuster uh, insignia on it, so it was taken from a Blockbuster video store, and I, I thought that was really cool, to be honest. So, um, there's a little bit of memorabilia in my, my current place of work, but... Uh, uh, now to the, the, the big, the biggie but goodie, um, and that's, uh, not one, not two, not three, not even four, but five Blockbuster cards we found, uh, cleaning up. I've got a Blockbuster Rewards card, um, which is pretty cool. It's got, you know, blue, you know, uh, coloring and black just splashed on it. It's got the Blockbuster video logo and it says Rewards on it. And then we've got, you know, um, the four Blockbuster membership cards, and, it's really cool uh, that I can hold on to this memory through these cards, to be honest. And I had one at one uh, point of time thought about going online to eBay and buying a Blockbuster membership card. 
because I thought that I couldn't find these and um, I thought we had lost them. And people are charging ridiculous prices for blockbuster video cards. Um, there's like they're like twenty five to almost a thousand dollars depending on the on the seller, and I think that's a little ridiculous to be charging that kind of money um, for a, a, a membership card that you know was just for checking out movies and stuff like a like a like a book bookstore or a library or something. So I'm really glad we found these because I'm I really love you know the nostalgia of having a blockbuster gift or blockbuster membership card. And let alone having not three, but four, and then having the uh, the, f the fifth rewards card, too. So it, it just brings back a lot of special memories. You know, this is a, a childhood memory that most uh, kids nowadays will never know. And, you know, they'll never have get, gotten to experience a video store. And, uh, you know, it's ancient part of history now, and it's sad to say that because it wasn't more than, like, 15 years ago uh, that, you know, video stores were relevant and all over the place. And... Uh, it's both exciting and saddening at the same time, but I, I, I really enjoy the concept of the video store, like I said in the beginning, and uh, I will always cherish the memories I had as a kid, and uh, hopefully, you know, if I ever have uh, children of my own, I will teach them about the history that was Blockbuster and of Hollywood video. So, you know, it's just, it's little stuff like this, you know, to most people, they're just meaningless cards and junk and... So people like me, they just hold a lot of significant memories, and uh, I, I really look forward to holding on to these, and I might even make a display for these one day, who knows, I might frame them in a picture frame or something, who knows, but uh, all I know is for now is I'm, I'm going to hold on to these tight and keep them safe because, you know, they're mine and I, and I love them, and and like I said, I, I, I like having the memory of, of when I got to go to Blockbuster with my, my, uh, my brother and my mom and my dad when I was a little kid, and um, like I said, hopefully, uh, hopefully that family video is still around for the, uh, that town I'm moving to, um, and then I can continue and uh, enjoy that nostalgia. But we'll see. So if not, at least I have my cars and, and lots of memories when I was a little kid. So, all right, everybody. Well, thank you for watching. This was, like I said, a little bit of an unnatural video uh, than what I'd usually do. It's more of the, on the pop culture uh, esque side of things, but uh, I enjoyed making it. I really did. And I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I did sharing it. So um, that concludes this video for tonight. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed my content, please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button at the very bottom of the screen. It would go a long way in helping me improve my channel. Um, please also be sure to stay tuned for more videos coming certainly uh, soon and hopefully in a nice, consistent manner. So, all right, guys. Well, you have a good rest of your evening. Thank you for watching again. Have a good night and God bless. Peace out.